So this is a video I kind of went back and forth on making. Um, on one hand, I, I really don't want people to agree with anything I say in this. On the other hand, I just kind of have to get it off of my chest and I have to try to be real with you guys because that's what I've always tried to do and I just feel very hypocritical. So, yeah. Basically what I wanted to say is I haven't really, I guess, felt faith in a very long time. God, it's been, um, I think, more than two years, maybe three years. I haven't felt the Holy Spirit at all. I haven't felt any connection to God. I haven't... I, I have been going to church, but I, I kind of hate it when I go there, and I just kind of ignore it until I have to leave. I view it as just kind of an obligation, and it's something I cling to as kind of part of my... I, I guess what I feel to be my duty, but it just... It gets harder and harder as time goes on. So, it's, like I said, I just, um, I haven't felt faith in God knows how long. And it's it just gets harder and harder to kind of pretend, um, pretend for you, to pretend for everybody, to lie to myself about it. But no, I just, uh, I don't feel it anymore. Well, not anymore, but for a long time, and people say, well, have you tried this, have you tried that? I've tried a lot of things, and it's just, I can't anymore. I'm switching medication soon, so we'll see if it's maybe my lack of faith is related to whatever the drugs are I'm on, but I just don't really know. It's... It's not really a, a doubt in anything in particular. I, I think it's just exhaustion like i said it's it's just something i feel i can't pretend about anymore so what kind of brought me to this point what's kind of made me i don't know come out of the closet as it were i, I just want to say i'm not an atheist it's just i i found catholicism during pretty much the entire time i've been since my conversion to be extremely toxic um, toxic, cancerous, just unpleasant in general. It's, I, I find the entire thing is, is just, the modern church at least, is founded on kind of self-delusion about how things are and just trying to vilify other people. Like, I find every mass I've pretty much ever been to, the the homily is attacking somebody, be it attacking liberals, attacking normally the congregation for not being accepting of gays or for not giving all their money to the poor, etc. That's, that's all it really seems to be to me is just negative people attacking one another using like the not, no true Scotsman thing. Oh, these people aren't real Catholics. These people aren't real Catholics. And it's like, I kind of get it when you're attacking liberals because they deny very basic aspects of natural law, like the nuclear family. But, like, conservative Catholics attack one another and they attack trads. Trads attack everybody and they attack each other and they squabble over very minor, to everybody else, theological points. And they... I find there's a focus in the trad community where if you express any doubt or any disagreement, they try to scare you into agreeing with them by saying you're going to, going to hell. And, and I find that's often um, a focus within trad communities is like very kind of legalistic, minute details about who's going to hell. And that, that just seems to be kind of the entire focus. Regardless of the branch of Catholicism is, etc. And it's like, how can you believe in a united church? when you have a hierarchy that actively despises the people who follow it. When you have the people who follow it who don't really believe in, the vast majority don't really believe in any of the things they, they claim to believe in. And like the advice I've received is basically go LARP in the woods. Ignore everything liberals say, ignore everything trads say, ignore everything like center-right Catholics say, and just like read the the Bible and like the writings of the saints for yourself 
And it's like at that point, well, how is it different from Protestantism even? It's it's basically go live on your own, go LARP in the woods. It's like there isn't a United Church, in my view at least. It's just, I, I think it's kind of delusional to say that there is, to say that, oh, we're all one big Catholic Church. Because there's, there's fundamental disagreement on very important points. And to, to kind of pretend that the reason I, I think is just wrong. It's it's saying, oh, we're all in communion, we're all one church. But I think in a lot of cases, the differences between different groups of Catholics are larger than the differences between a lot of groups of Protestants. And, and it kind of is like de facto many denomination Protestantism in a lot of ways, but with sacraments or whatever is is kind of how i feel it. it basically has become these days where the focus is either kind of like this high church calvinism everybody's going to hell if you if you don't do very specific things you're, you're going to hell um the entire base is just evil or the base who just thinks everybody's evil who's not like a marxist and like I said, it's just, it's toxic, it's cancerous, it's just, and, and that's the focus. And everyone just says the other is, is no true Scotsman, etc. And it just kind of gets harder and harder to kind of pretend. And I just, it's, it's hard when people say, oh, just go LARP in the woods, just ignore everything everybody says. Ignore what the Pope says, ignore what the bishops say, ignore what people around you say. If you don't ignore it, you're going to hell. And that's basically, I, I guess, why I just, I, it's, it's just very difficult for me. And like I said, I just haven't felt faith for a long time. I, I can't pray anymore. I've tried many times. I've tried saying the rosary. I've tried doing the Jesus prayer. I've tried all kinds of things, and just none of it works. It's just vain repetition. It's just me kind of babbling on. And it's, it's once again, it's, it's just the advice I get is, oh, go do this, go do that, with um, all the toxic interdenominational struggle where people just attack one another. And it's just, uh, I don't know, like I said, I just can't really deal with it anymore between that and my inability to feel anything resembling faith it's just I can't keep pretending it's just very hard so going forward I don't know what I'm going to do to be honest maybe just as you notice I don't make really videos about religion anymore so maybe that's what I'll do I'll just not make them because I don't really want to convince anybody to leave or to stop going to church or anything I wish I could have faith I, I really wish that more than anything but I just I can't anymore for the reasons I mentioned for personal reasons for just emotional reasons I just I just can't I'm sorry sorry I had to make this video I just I felt I had to last be kind of honest with you guys about how I'm feeling and I just can't keep pretending to be a LARPy, Templar, champion of the faith, etc. When I, I don't even know what faith to be champion of. It's just... Anyways. I guess for those of you who can enjoy it, Happy Easter. But for me, I walked out of Mass because the priest was attacking... Um, was attacking people for not being tolerant of gays and Muslims and for not giving your money to the poor and for gun control and stuff like that. So, like I said, I just can't, I can't take it anymore. And people we'll say, well, you have to drive like an hour to the nearest trad church and go there. And, and what are they going to say there? They're just going to attack people and say you're going to hell or say, oh, the liberal Catholics are destroying the church or something like that. It's just, it's like, what's the point? It's, it's just, I have enough toxicity in politics. I have enough toxicity in my own life. Do I really need to, to go every Sunday and just hear more of it? And just to deal with it online? I just, this is very hard for me. I don't know. I'll have to put more thought in this. I'm just trying, I'm trying to be sincere here. Anyways, God bless. 
like I said, I still believe very strongly in God and have, ah, uh, sorry, heaven, hell, and all that kind of thing, natural law. I just, as an institution, I just find it very hard, pretty much impossible to believe in the church anymore. So, if you can, though, don't let me stop you. I, I wish I could. I really do. You'll never hear me, like, start doing videos attacking it or anything. That's just how I feel. I'm sorry.